We previously printed a Baby Yoda with the Form 3. This is an, an old tough material. We also printed it 50% smaller in the clear. Now both of these were at a 50 micron layer height. We then halved that going down to 25 micron and printed this little guy in the uh, high temp material. All right, we've jumped back in the preform software just to kind of show you the scale. This is the 1.5 scale, the dark blue one that we printed out tough. This is the original one, 1.0 scale out of clear. Then we went down to half scale, and printed this guy out of high temp, okay, 0.5 scale. Now we're gonna try the quarter scale, eighth scale, and one sixteenth. So here's a little bit more of a close up. And you can see, despite their small size, they still have the same kind of virtual fidelity if I zoom in. Okay, the three smaller scale Yodas have uh, finished printing. Okay, you can see them hanging there. <laughs> oh man, they're tiny. So anyway, let's just remove this guy. And we'll get her washed so we can see. Uh, <laughs> uh, so the uh, quarter scale, the big guy here seems to have printed well. It's just hard to tell because there's uh, some liquid resin that's still on the surface. Okay, now we're gonna wash these guys for 10 minutes because it's the uh, gray material. Oh, my fluid's looking kind of dirty, but we'll see how it looks in 10 minutes. All right, the wash is over. Let's see what we got here. This should be interesting. That drip there. I'm gonna just, I've got like one hand right now. So I'm just gonna shut this. Oh wow, okay. So it looks like the quarter scale Yoda's turned out actually really good. You can see them there. The, oh my God, <laughs> the A scale ones look like they turned out too. Did the 16th scale ones turn out as well? Okay, I'm gonna take this whole thing and look at it under the scope. Okay guys, the lighting inside of the cure station is a little bit better for this. But we can see we've got the quarter scale, uh, the big ones here, eighth scale in one sixteenth scale. I do have one eighth scale in this dish. Uh, you can see the bigger one there. Just cause it came off when I was removing it from the build platform. Also, two of the one sixteenth scale uh, kinda came off their support. They're kinda just floating in there. So, I don't know, hard to focus on it uh, right now. So let's run this puppy and then we can really see what they look like. All right, we've cured the baby Yodas. Um, probably can't really see much. I'm just using kind of the throw light from the stereoscope here to kind of let you see them. We're gonna throw them under a uh, digital scope now and just see if we can screen grab kind of what they look like. Okay, we're in our digital scope software here. And right now we're looking at the quarter scale micro Baby Yoda. You can just see the fantastic surface fidelity here as I'm focusing. 
look at that. It's amazing. So this is quarter scale. All the fingers and toes and the ears, everything came out really nice. Okay, here's the eighth scale micro baby Yoda. And you can see like the previous one, uh, all the ears, the fingers, the little claws, the little, little baby Yoda feet, little toenails or whatever those are came out fine. So this came out perfectly intact and still looked really good. So here's the 16th scale micro baby Yoda. And this is probably the best one out of the few I printed. This one, it appears as though everything was pretty much intact. One of his little, you can see his like right big toe claw, whatever that thing is, kind of got folded over. But aside from that, everything else came out pretty well. The surface fidelity at this scale isn't quite on par with the uh, bigger brother, but what do you expect? There they all are. There's a clothespin there for some sort of scale reference. You can see how big they actually are and how tiny the micro Yodas are.